For today's project, we are going to be etching some mirrors with our diode laser. Mm. Hi everybody, my name is Ryan and I am the Laser Noob. Stick around and let's see how this works out. Okay, so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a picture, we're gonna upload it into Imager, we're gonna make some adjustments to it, we're gonna download it, put it into Lightburn, get some mirrors prepped, stick it in there, and we're gonna see what happens. So basically, as far as prepping a mirror goes, it's not too difficult. I got some eight by eight mirrored panels off of Amazon. Um, links down below. They're pretty inexpensive. They all came intact. None were broken. So we're going to take these eight by eights uh, and just, I got them because they're cheap to practice. So, um, and to prep, all we're going to do is, is I'm just going to mask off the front of it. Uh, basically. So when I put it down on my honeycomb, the honeycomb's not scratching it. If, if you burn it without putting the tape on it, you kind of get an outline of the honeycomb on it and, and most of that washes off. I had one that didn't quite wash all off. So we'll just mask it. That way we don't have to worry about it. it a little extra cleanup to get the tape residue off when you're done. But I mean, it's, it's glass. It, it'll be fine. So we're going to take a, take a picture, uh, get it up into Imager. I'm going to show you guys how, how you do that. If you've never used Imager, it's great software. They have a free web version. Um, I live out in the boonies. I have DSL internet. Like I live in like 1999 or some crap. Um, so I, it takes a long time to download it. I just bought the, you know, the license for it. So now I just, I download it on my computer and, you know, I upload it, do my adjustments and download it. And it's that fast. So for me, it was worth the money. I mean, if you're in the same position, you can do the same thing. But uh, otherwise, if you have great internet, just use the free version online and, and do it that way. So let's move over to the computer and get our image all ready and prepped, and we'll see how this looks out. Did I just say looks out? Let's see how this works out. All right, so we have Imager open. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the photo that we want. So we're gonna go up here. Now the offline version looks a little bit different from the online version, but basically it's the same, I mean, it's the same setup. So right here is my upload. So I'm gonna upload an image. It's gonna be this photo right here. Now, what I originally did is I had burned this on some wood. Um, just just messing around with some stuff and it came out good and when i pulled the file back up i had actually forgotten that i had done the settings for wood when i did a mirror and i went ahead and used it and it came out great so we're going to go through the same steps you guys are going to have to mess around with this your your laser settings are different from my laser settings um, your power if you have a 10 watt might be a little bit more might be a little bit less so, but we're going to go over the basics right now. So, um, this is our crop and we're not going to crop this and this is to resize the image. So we're going to go ahead and resize that. Um, uh, my mirror is 200, uh, millimeter square. So I'm going to change that largest number to 200 and I'm going to come down here to my DPI and I'm going to make that 300. And I also want to make this millimeters. So whoops. And we'll change that back to 200. All right, so our our mirror is 200 millimeters by 200 millimeters. So I made my largest width or my, my largest measurement 200 millimeters. And I have changed it to 300 DPI. So now I'm gonna hit okay. And what it'll do is it'll open up a second image. So this is now our processed image. The one on the left is our original image that we brought in. So now what I want to do is I'm going to go to this one right here and this is going to be our material. So what I did is I went to diode and I just did Norton wood. Okay. And we'll click. Okay. So that's what it looks like. That's, I mean, it's not really going to look like that. So as you zoom in a little bit, you'll see 
it, it's not nearly as grainy. So now what you have to do is you are going to have to mess around with the contrast and the brightness and the gamma to get the picture how you want it. Because I, I guarantee you the way it looks on here is not exactly how it's going to burn. So you're, you're going to have to do some tests until you get familiar with, you know, what the settings are and how they do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my contrast and I'm going to bump that up to 33 on this image. And then my brightness, I'm going to bump that up to 8. Whoops. 8. And then my gamma is going to stay right at about 1. Okay. So now, what? let's zoom in a little bit. What I want to show you guys, see all my all this nice white space, is, this, this is nice and clean. Okay. If you start getting to where you're seeing... Whoops, wrong way. These little dots in here. All right, if you can see all these little dots, when you go to, and if this is the same if you do it on white tile or if you do it on the mirror, you start seeing these dots, it's going to burn those dots, and you're going to actually see those dots on your finished product. So all these little dots will show up, and it actually it looks horrible. So if you see that... Um, like all this, it's going to burn all those little dots in there. So you want to make sure that if you want that white, you just bump that up. My, and I want my brightness at 8 on this. Okay. So that's what I'm going to download. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go over here to my left panel. And I'm going to download that. And I'm just going to do it. Large photo, 300. That, so... This is the name of the photo. I haven't changed that. Uh, the 300 is the DPI, and it's telling me that it's done under Norton Wood. Okay? So I'm just going to save that. Click OK. And then we can close down Imager. All right. So now what we're going to do, here's our photo. All right? And it is currently... 199.983 even though I set it for 200 so my mirror is 200 millimeters by 200 millimeters but I want to do a small wood frame around this when I'm all done for for like a shadow box so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set that for 185 at the largest 185 and I have my lock on so it stays in perspective and tab so, uh, and, that, and see just that little bit, it looks much better. So now we're going to come up here to our cuts and layers and we're going to go to that layer and double click. We're going to do negative image. We want pass through on. Okay. And we're not changing anything else. We can't even change the, the dither to stucky or to threshold or anything. We want pass through on. Because we want to use the settings that Imager sent with the photo. Okay, so all we do is negative image with the with the mirror, pass through, and you don't change anything else. You don't want constant power mode on. You don't need don't worry about error assist or anything. Okay, so we're gonna click OK. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to open up our camera. We're going to bring that over here. So I've already got my glass is already squared. You know, I, I've already showed you guys in other videos how, how to set everything up so you can you can get your laser to go to center where you want it using using the move panel. So I've, I've already got this all centered. We're all set. All right. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to frame this. Use that nice little small edge. Okay. We are starting from user origin. And we are starting from the center of the project on this one. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put my glasses on. And we're going to hit start.
your status Walking like that It's really getting too much But I can't pull back Though I try to resist I can't fight this And no one Makes me feel like you do Pulling me closer Oh, I've got to stay away But you won't let me So I got you guys a rundown on Imager. Um, I'm going to put a, a link down in the description below. Uh, I spoke with the folks at Imager, and they're going to give me a, a code, and it, the discount code is going to be called Laser Noob. So the same as my channel, Laser Noob. Put that in at checkout, and you're going to get a 15% discount either on the online version or the offline version. Um, you can use it for free, but there are some paid features. So anyway, uh, like I said, laser noob, 15% off. But just so you guys can see, I've taken the tape off. This is, this is the mirror from the back side. And then from the front side. And then just so you guys can see how it ended up turning out, I'm going to turn the lights off. And I'm going to hold it up against the actual picture right here. The only thing I did not do, which I forgot, because um, it's a mirror, not just normally when I do glass, I do right on the front. But on the mirrors, because you're burning the back and you're looking at it from the front, I forgot to mirror it so it's backwards. Um, it's okay. I can do it again. It's, this was about an hour and 15 minute burn uh, on this. So not too bad. I, I turned the laser on and... I went up and had some dinner, watched on the camera up there, see everything was going good. So not too worried. But anyway, so let's shut the lights off. Let's check this out and see how it looks. Okay. So that's the exact picture that we just burned onto the mirror. And then here's the mirror with some backlighting. So it came out pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, it's got a little bit of a frosted look. It's not exactly 100% clear. Uh, I didn't etch everything off. So doing a photo on, on mirrors, this is how it's going to end up looking. But I, man, I, I'm, I'm thoroughly happy with how it turned out. I, I really like it. So there you go. That's even better. So not too shabby. Uh, I hope you guys, when you guys try this, um, please put down in your comments how it went, if you're having any problems, and, you know, I'll get back with you. If, if I can help, I'll help you guys out. So anyway, hey, uh, make sure you go over in this little corner right over here and hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button, which is somewhere right over here. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.